ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಬೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತ್ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವಯ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಜೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರುಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚಾರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ 
लक्ष्मीजस्वी यस्ति हृदय संभम अक्षास्ति हृदय संबीतिशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आचर्य धर्म परिचर्य विष्णु विचर्य तीर्थाने विचार्य वेदान बिना न गौर पीय पात सेवनम वेदादिदुष्पापदम विधंती आचर्य धर्म परिचर्य विष्णु विचर्य वेदान विचार विचर्य तीर्थान विचार्य ते पीति वेदान बिना न गौर पीय पात सेवनम विदादिदुष्पापदम विधंती गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगह प्रभुपात जगदगुरु टोल नथिंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड फॉर नथिंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड नथिंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड कैन अट्रैक्ट गुरु वैष्णव गुरु वैष्णव कैन नेवर फील इन अट्रैक्शन फॉर एनीथिंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड शरदिंदु राय speaking to prabhupad prabhupad within very short time you are making 50 gauri amats all over, around india 50 gauri amats popa speaking what to speak about 50 gauri amats i wanted to in, install gauri amat inside the heart of each and every jivatma what to speak about 50 gauri amats i wanted to establish gauri amat inside the heart of everybody actually propat wanted to start brihat midanga propat wanted to start brihat midanga seva this hari katha can go up to certain limit of course at present everywhere going due to advantage scientific advantage but that time pope was speaking that bihat midanga seva we like to start bihat midanga seva can go long distance pope was wanted to propagate the teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu all around the world that was the desire of sila prabhupada so prabhupad wanted to make living midanga all our guru varga most of them they are living midanga prabhupad wanted to make living midanga living midanga mean living goriamat mobile goriamat living midanga means anywhere they can go they can start singing the glory of chaitanya mahaprabhu anywhere they can go they can speak the message of gauriya math i mean the teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu anywhere they can go popa wanted to make a mobile gauriya math all our guru varga most of them all our guru varga most of them they are mobile gauriya math they can go anywhere anywhere they can go russia france italy german anywhere they can go america they can start speaking about the teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu rabindranath tagore rabindranath tagore one very noble laureates is a very big poet who came back jack time i am speaking that time he came back from england from european country then popad by chance they meet each other popad asking what do you think if i send if i like to send some messenger of goriyama to european country i mean outside country what do you think what you, what do you think what kind of result we can get ravindran to speaking don't need you don't send because it is useless they are less interested to hear about this kind of high philosophy 
Unnecessarily you can send, okay. No use. Then Popa started speaking Harikatha in front of him for at least one and a half hour, continuously, about the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then Rabindranath Thakur was bound to speak that, well, if any, if any gigantic personality like you can go to any country, any time, can come out successfully. I am sorry to speak. Any time, any moment, any time, any country, if you go, you can come out successful. Then Prabhupada was bound to say, I want to send such a nice personality as good. I like to send some devotees as good as me. This way, Prabhupada wanted to preach all Gauriya, Siddhanta, Vichar, all around the world. All around the world, Prabhupada wanted to preach Gauriya, Siddhanta, Vichar. Bhakti Muta was speaking, for the preaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, for the preaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, Siddhanta, Vichar, we need some spiritual organization, where we need all elevated devotees. Elevated devotees mean at least their character is good. At least their character should be good. Their intention, their sincerity should be good. For, for the preaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teachings, we need such big, big spiritual organization. We need to set up. But if we, if we are going to set up this kind of spiritual organization, by the help of some bonded soul, their character is not good, their behavior is very bad. If this way, it is sure, it is sure that to establish a spiritual organization, I mean, so we need some devotees, we need some devotees. But those so-called devotees who are character is not good, their behavior is very bad, if you are going to form, if you want to make one organization by the help of some bonded souls, in that case we cannot expect, we cannot expect, you know, we cannot expect uh, perfect preachings. We cannot expect idealism. We cannot expect idealism from this society. So, this way, material people can spit on Material people can spit, spit on us, those who are going to make this kind of organization by the help of those bonded souls, their character is very bad, their behavior not good. In that case, outside people can spit on us. So, before setting one spiritual organization, we must think thousands of times. Because by the help of money power and manpower, by the help of many by the help of money power and manpower, we cannot set such a spiritual organization where people can expect some topmost idealism. Be we have Siddhanta which have written. No. Not at all possible. Point is that Achaitanya Midam Bisham Yadi Chaitanya Mishwaram na viduhu. Sarva Sastragya Opihi Brahman Tite Yanaha. Achaitanya Vidam Visham. This whole Vishwa is almost unconscious. Almost, why say? Because as per medical term, we can say that we have consciousness. But as per Satya Siddhanta, we can say there is no consciousness. Achaitanya Vidam Visham Jadi Chaitanya Mishwaram Naviduhu. This whole world is like unconscious, oh, like unconscious. If they are not going to have any idea about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Achaitanya Midam Visham Yadi Chaitanya Mishwaram Naviduhu, if they are not going to know Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in that case, what use? Achaitanya Midam Visham Yadi Chaitanya Mishwaram Naviduhu, if they, are going to, if they are going to memorize all Shastra, 
if they are going to memorize all shastras, still it is useless. Achaitanam idam visvam jodi chaitanam isvaram nam idu sarva shastra gopi brahmantiti janaha. They can travel all around this world, infinity world. Maybe they can take red cloth, white cloth, maybe they can take sannyas base, any base. But if they have no idea about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his teachings, then whatever base they are going to take, it is all useless. They are bound to, bound to run. Cyclic order. Many times Popad used to say, Brahmando Bhamite Kono Bhagavan Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Pich. Many times Prabhupada used to say, Brahmando Bhamite Kono Bhagavan Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Pich. In course of traveling this infinity world, material world, Brahmando Bhamite Kono Bhagavan Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Pich. By the mercy of Guru Krishna, they can get the sheet of Bhakti Lata. Brahmanda Bhamitikuna Bhagavan Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasade Pai, Bhakti Lata Bij. And when they are going to get this Bhakti Lata Bij, as a gardener, Mali Haya Sevich Kore Rupan, as a gardener, they is going to take care of the sheet, going to give water, Shoban Kitan Jal, Shoban Kitan water, water, Shoban Kitan, sunlight. Everything, air, everything. So, Brahmanda Bhamita Kuna Bhagavan Jeeva Guru Krishna Prasadipaya Bhakti Rata Bij Mali Haya Sevi Bij Kare Rupan and Shoban Kittan Jale Kare Sechan. Shoban Kittan Ru Water going to give under the guidance of pure Guru Vishnu, they are going to give Shoban Kittan Jal and by the, by the care of Guru Vishnu, I mean if we are sincere, if we are going to show perfect anugatha, sincerity, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, we can grow our bhakti inside us. We can grow our bhakti inside us. And many times I told from Bhajanakriya, we can start sadhan bhakti. And sadhan bhakti ultimately can go up. And sadhan bhakti can give us sadha bhakti. Sadhan Bhakti can ultimately give us Sadhan Bhakti can ultimately give us Sadha Bhakti. This is the procedure. Anyway, Srila Vishwanath Chakotiva speaking, if we have no complication inside our heart, Kutil mean, Kutil mean very critical. Kutil mean in Sanskrit word, Bengali word, Kutil mean critical. If somebody's mind is very critical, very critical, very complicated, then he can never get bhakti. Bhakti Muni Thakur used to say that Saralata is Vaishnavata. You understand? Saralata means Vaishnavata. If there is no Saralata, if there is no plain heart, if there is no plain heart, then he is not Vaishnava. Bhakti Muni Thakur many times used to say Saralata is equal to Vaishnavata. Vaishnavism means simple heart. I mean plain heart. This way, but one thing is very important. That day I was speaking. If Chaito, uh, Vishwanath Chakot was speaking this thing, I forget to speak. Vishwanath Chakot used to sing. If there is no complicacy inside heart, if there is no complicacy inside heart, then by the mercy of Guru Vaishnav, shortly they can cut all Maya and go up to the level of full consciousness. But actually point is that if there is complicacy, duplicity, Vishwan Chakotvika giving example, Shavari Muni. Shavari Muni and about Ajamil, Shavari Muni, Oilo, I mean Pururava, their heart was not complicated. Their heart was not complicated. Vishwanath Chakotva was speaking, Puru Rava, I mean Oilo, Puru Rava, Shavari Rishi, and you know, this, you know, Puru Rava, this Ajamil, they had no complicacy. Though 
They were in matter. All they are feeling problem because of matter. They were in Maya. Purudava was Maya, full Maya with Urvashi. All going to lose all his power, energy. Actually, point is that if there is karma inside our heart, you can feel it. If there is karma inside our heart, then whatever power we can get from Guru Varga, anything previously, and due to some problem we go to, due to some aparad we grow maya, I mean illusion, maya. In that case, all power, our vajan power can go down. Follow what I say. Suppose by the help of Guru Vishnu Seva, we are getting some power. By chance, due to some mistake, some aparad, we are going krama inside heart. Then automatically you can feel all our all your power going, going away, going away through that leakage. Leakage means defect. Leakage means defect. So somebody speaking he is the kipa patra. Somebody speaking he is the kipa patra of Sila Bhakti Shitanta Saraswati Gusha. Or he is the kipa patra of Kesha Gusha Maharaj. Or Sita Gusha. Okay, kipa patra. But they forget to speak. Kipa patra, okay. But that patra become they, they grow some leakage. And through that leakage, all kripa gone out. Suppose you are putting some solution, even pot, if there is some leakage. So gradually through that leakage, all, all your you know liquid all can go out. So all our anartha, all our aparad, all our anartha can be compared with different kind of leakage. Through which, through which we are losing all our bhajan. We are doing bhajan. Not that we are everybody not doing bhajan. Doing bhajan. But they are not going to keep power with them. Because through leakage, all power going away. Anartha. All different kind of anartha going to. So Vishwana Chakras was speaking, because of our because of their simple heart. I mean Ajamil, I mean Ajamil, Oilo, Pururava, I mean, and Shobari Rishi, they could get respite. They could make up their bhajan. They could respite, they could make up their somehow. Because there was no complicacy as such, there was no complicacy inside their heart. They were in trouble. Maya was there. They are crying, they are in Maya, but still there was no, their heart was not complicated heart. That's why they could get, they could, they could find solution in long term. But what about you and me? That is the main problem. About Ajamil you can find, our Guru Bargo speaking, our Guru Bargo speaking, our Guru Bargo speaking, all our sense organ, all our five karmendriyo, five ganendriyo, five karmendriyo, hand, leg, everything, and sense organ, five. So, five, five, ten. Ten, five karmendriyo, karmendriyo, five ganendriyo. Ten, together with mind. Mind is the leader of all. If any of your sense organ going to make some mistake, then there is every possibility that you can fall down. Any of your sense organ going to make some mistake, then there is every possibility that you can fall down. Follow what I say. In Upadeshamrita, for a long time I was discussing all very, you know, complicated subject matter. All in Upadeshamrita. How one one sense organ can put us in trouble. Upadeshamrita of Rupagushinipad. For a long time. Even in Kartik Brutu also. Before that, also from Saturday, Sunday, Saturday we are again starting our usual Briyad Bhagavatam, everything. Upadeshamrita. So, problem is that any of your sense organ, any, only one, if going to cheat you, any of your sense organ can put you in such a problem that you cannot come out. Like the case Ajamil. Ajamil was a nice boy, 
it is written in sixth canto ajamil was not not a bad is very good man very good personality ajamil was he had uh, moral strength moral power i uh, had respect for seniorly you know personality like father mother or elderly person used to respect them he used to worship salgram sila he used to worship salgram every day he used to chant gayatri every day he used to go to you know forest to collect flower flower every every day he used to go to forest to collect flower and fruits everything and come back used to worship salgram used to offer bhoga used to distribute among you know father mother and you know wife you know part there is one part but what was the problem then he was a nice personality very good nice he had respect for senior person very reserved person very reserved so in a personality but what happened that we should discard what was the problem but actually ajamil that day went to forest to collect flower and fruits everything and for cooking wooden piece in the forest wooden piece all he used to that day by chance what happens you see while coming back while coming back he could see one very bad picture picture mean one cross one you know, characterless lady was there she was half nude half naked she was playing what characterless man playing with and that picture ajamil could see and after watching ajamil was just stunned with all fruits and flower everything he forget his own duty he forget for the time being for for the time being he forgot his personal duty he should go back but he forget he started looking at the picture and he develop karma inside heart finally he could not he he wanted to fight with this more he wanted to fight with this situation there was more moral strength was there there was moral strength inside ojamel he wanted to fight this is not good i should not watch it i should go back i have nice wife and children he forget that is the point up to sub up to certain limit of your moral strength up to certain limit of your moral strength you can fight to the best of your capacity up to certain level of your you can fight with your you have the amount of moral strength you have you can fight up to that level after that when your moral strain moral capacity moral strain going to cross over then your moral strength can break down you can become characterless man all over i say up to certain limit like i told the case of uh, sonatan gosai when sonatan gosai was in sent to jail sonatan gosai speaking to the muslim guard that if you uh, i can give you 2000 golden you know coin if you can make free well is i can make you free but not possible because uh, a uh, king can cut me king can give me punishment i cannot well i can give you 4000 golden coin you know i have done so many good thing for you and uh, you should yes you have done so many thing so why not you i want to make you free i want to make you free but i cannot because there uh, i feel i feel fear because the king can come back and take information he can give punishment to me well i can give you 6000 golden coin well i can make you free but if a king going to punish him? no 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 king cannot no any king can cannot have any information king cannot get any information you can say morning time he was uh, i was bound to take you can say to king in the morning time i was bound to take him to Uh, outside field for passing stool and urine you know eh? that time there was a big lock and this chain and 
by chance he ran from that place and jumped into a river and uh, with a big lock he gone he already die i think i cannot so you don't fear sanatan sanatan gosai is speaking you don't fear anyway i am not going to stay here in your country i can go outside i can go to makka makka you know makka madina eh yeah. makka muslim you know pilgrimage i can go there sanatan gosai then according to that that muslim guard was bound to break his moral strength follow his moral strength was up to 6000 golden coin after that he couldn't maintain his moral strength a breakdown this is the condition of this material world even those who want to become brahmachari sanyasi acharya all anybody up to certain limit they can show some moral strength after that they, they can break up their moral sense can break down they can fall down so any of your sense organ like the case of ojamil on his eyes for long distance he is watching the eyes so those who are interested to follow brahmacharya brahmacharya is the power some day i can discuss all about brahmacharya and sir renounce order how to protect all your power inside you like fire you can glow like fire brahmacharya so power is brahmacharya you forget that thing power is your brahmacharya follow sense to maintain brahmacharya first of all all your sense organs should come under your control to maintain brahmacharya the first condition all your sense sense organs all your sons organs together with mind should come under your controls that that also not forcefully that also not forcefully follow what i say when i say brahmacharya mean you should your all your sense organ together with mind should come under your control that doesn't mean you can apply force and keep all your sense organ under your control forcefully not that you will have to follow such a nice track very sweet track sweet sweet track of bhagavad bhajan under the guidance of guru vishnam so it's an automatic factor it's an automatic factor automatically you can free automatically you can get free of maya i told na many time you forget many time i told rajas tamasya satyena satyinch upasamena cha एतत् सर्व गुरु भक्ता पुरुष ही अंज सा जाय रज एंड तम यू शुड डिफेट विथ सत रज तम से सत्य न एंड सत्य यू शुड डिफेट उपशम से उपशम 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 मीन उपशम मीन अंडर द गाइड गुरु वैष्णव ऑल एकादशी आदि रामनवमी और जन्माष्टमी राधा ऑल डिफरेंट यू नो उपवास फास्टिंग एंड कीर्तन morning time you will have to get up 3 o'clock get up a brahmachari sanyasi should not sleep whenever be remember whenever you break your sleep whenever you break your sleep maybe 2:30 or 3 o'clock after that don't try to sleep in bed there is a secrecy you don't know there is a secrecy whenever you break your sleep maybe 2:30 you don't like to get up but you will have to get up if you sleep in that can in dream maya can come maya come so if you get up 3 o'clock 2:30 okay but don't try to sleep in bed because that time maya can come inside in your dream big problem so we gauriya devotees never want to put any pressure on us to get control over sense of it's an automatic factor it's an automatic factor if somebody going to give me lotus honey if somebody going to give me lotus honey if you give me lotus honey i can take bread and uh, lotus honey i can take chapati i cannot cook anything i can offer to bhagwan because very tasty i am very healthy so if somebody giving me lotus honey 
Lotasani, surely I can uh, throw all molasage, useless molasage, dirty molasage. I have a dirty molasage. But who, who is going to get, take dirty molasage if, I, if somebody is going to give me lotus honey? Mahaprabhu giving example, na? If you have very raw molasage, if somebody is giving sign canary, can, fine canary, fine canary, shitapal, very costly if you can buy. Very costly, this much, very costly. Shitapal, one kind of canary, very special. Shitapal. This way, this way, in Gita it is written, Raso Varyam, Raso Paso Param Dishta Nivartanti. All Jiva, nobody can speak. If you are speaking lie, then you can speak lie. If you are going to speak the truth, then you can say, all Jiva all around this universe, all they want to get some Rasa. Rasa? All, everybody. Because without rasa, nobody likes to live. Even one fly, even, even one mosquito, even one jackal, tiger, nobody. Without rasa, nobody likes to live. So rasa is the main reason for why everybody likes to live more and more. Now point is there in Gita it is written, Rasa varyam rasa pasya param dishtani vartante. If you are get, going to get very tasteful thing, then naturally you are going to throw dirty thing. Follow. Honeybees, honeybees surely not going to sit on stool. Honeybees surely not going to sit on stool. Whereas fly, ordinary fly, going to sit on stool. Ordinary, ordinary fly always going to sit on stool. Whereas honeybee is always not, not less interested. So, rasovarjam rasopasya param dishtani vartanti. If you are going to get higher and higher ras taste, naturally you can throw dirty rasa. Follow. That is why Rupa Goswami was speaking. That is why Rupa Goswami was speaking. The moment for when, the moment from when I started getting the taste of Krishna Charan, I was feeling very, 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 very. I was feeling very, very, you know, bad. I was feeling very, very bad about thinking about woman, enjoying this, that. Jadavadi mamamano Krishna padar minda navadama rasad dhyama rantumasit tadavadi bato narisangam ismarjumani sushtu nishchiva nancha mukh vikar bhavati. Follow. The moment from when I started getting the taste of the lotus feet of Krishna, from then, if you are thinking about the taste of enjoying man, woman, this, that, all material thing, I spit. Kak tu. Jadabadi mamamano Krishna padar minda navanavarasa dhyamaruntum asit tadabadi bato narisangames marjumani sushtinishtiva nancha mukh vikar bhavati. So this is the condition. So Ajamil could not bear because that much power was not there in Ajamil. Follow. That much power was not there in Ajamil. Ajamil was good man. Ajamil was not bad man. But Ajamil, Ajamil could not bear. Up to that limit he couldn't bear. Up, because sufficient Guru Kipa was not there. Because sufficient Guru Kipa was not there, sufficient Guru Kipa was not there, and Chaitya Guru could not give him Kipa, sufficient Kipa. If Chaitya Guru is going to help me, then very easily I can come out of this kind of Maya. Very easily I can go up. If Chaitya Guru is going to help me, Chaitya Guru can help me, and give me understanding what is bad, what is good. All Shastra, when I read, by the mercy of Guru Pad Padma, Chaitya Guru can help me to digest all Shastra. Because many people can read Shastra, many people. They have money, they can buy books, but they cannot digest. They can buy many, many, I can show you, very, very many, and a money, big rich man. He can buy books. 
But that doesn't mean he can digest all Shastra. Digestion of Shastra can only, digestion of Shastra only you can get by the help of Guru Kipa. Now, our Prabhupada wanted to, wanted to make mobile Gauriyamat. One of, one, one such Gauriyamat is Srila Bhakti Pradeep Titho Goswami Maharaj is a great devotee. One such devotee is a great devotee, great devotee. Bhakti Pradeep Titho Goswami Maharaj. His name was Jagadish Prabhu. I can come, gradually I can discuss. His name was Jagadish Prabhu. Actually, he took birth in Noah Khali. Understand? Noah Khali, at present, in Bangladesh, that time it was undivided, undivided India. That time it was undivided India. That's why Noah Khali, Joshur, Khulna, Noah Khali, I know, Holo, all that East Bengal, East Bengal. He took birth there, and his brother was Anunto Vasudev Prabhu. Anunto Vasudev. Anuntava, you heard the name of Anuntava He was his brother, two brothers. One elder brother is Titha Maharaj, I mean Jagadish Prabhu, and uh, he took birth there. His mother was very devotee, father, mother, as a disciple of Bhaktivinu Chakur. His father, mother was a disciple of Bhaktivinu Chakur. Now, actually, previously, previously, I don't like to explain in details because I don't like to criticize anyone. Previously, they took Diksha from Gupti Pada. You know Gupti Pada? You don't know. Bhagna Pada, Bhagna Pada. Gupti Pada is the next station of Kalna, and Bhagna Pada is the previous station of from Navadhi. If you go towards Howrah, from Navadhi, if you, if you ride a train and go going towards Howrah, First, you can meet with Bhagnapara. Bhakti Mantra who took Diksha from Bhagnapara link, I told now. But after that, they changed. First of all, they took Diksha from Bhagnapara link, Bhagnapara Gosai. After that, leave them because of their unusual activities. Leave. I am going to take Diksha from, from whom? From Bhakti Mantra so father, mother, all big devotee. So naturally, from childhood, they have information about Bhakti Thakur, all different kind of kirtan, recitation of kirtan, harikat, all usually going on. His father finally took wide base. His father. I mean the father of Bhakti Pradip Tithamara, Jagadish Prabhu. Finally, he took white base from Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. You don't know. Follow. His name was Patit Pavan or something, I forget. I cannot remember. He took white base from, white base, I mean Babaji base from Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur. Anyway, long ago, in the year of 1914, Bhakti Manato left his body. But Bhakti Pradip Chitta Maharaj is a very senior, very, very, you know. So, after completing his college education, uh, after completing his school education, after completing his school education, after completing his school education, he was bound to come in Calcutta, to take his graduation degree, graduation, you know, graduation degree, BA degree, BA, from Calcutta University, he wanted to get graduation degree. Previously, you know, so after getting BA degree, after getting BA degree, he was, uh, he was very, Busy to join a spiritual organization. I mean, 
he wanted to meet with Bhakti Vinod Thakur because father took and that time there was no, you know, there was no such facility that if you, if you want to go, if you want to go anywhere, immediately you can go. That, that time, that kind of facility was not there. Long ago. Follow, long ago. Uh, in the case of 1900, I mean, this time actually, he joined, he joined one school. He got one service, school service, as a teacher. He got a service. In school, as a teacher, he started doing service and uh, getting some salary to maintain his own family because by that time he was married. By that time he was bound to marry because father, mother, they are not there, staying long distance, Noakali, is staying in Calcutta, doing some service and got, you know. So, to maintain his own family, he was bound to continue his service. But, in between, he took decision to meet with Bhakti Vinod Thakur. That was uh, Gaur Purnim day. That was Gaur Purnim day. Uh, in the year of uh, 1900 and, uh, 1911 or 12, I forget. So, he and another Pandit, he and another big Pandit, both of them, they, both of them coming up to Dhubulia station. Dhubulia, you know, Dhubulia station? You don't know. Dhubulia station from here, Bhavan Pukur, if you go straight way, you can meet Dhubulia station. I mean, after Krishnanagar station, after Krishnanagar station, if the train going to Murshidava, follow. Krishnanagar, Krishnanagar, from Krishnanagar it is going to more and uh, towards Baharampur, Mushidabad, north, north direction, north Bengal. And that time, first station is Dubulia. They drop in Dubulia, and from Dubulia, by walking long distance, long distance, minimum 8-10 kilometers. From Dubulia, more, more than 8-10 kilometers, 12 kilometers, I think. From there, Jagadish Prabhu, I mean the teacher, school teacher, Jagadish Prabhu, and one Pandit, Shamsundar Pandit, like that. Both of them, they are coming towards Jogopitsa Mandir, because that time Jogopitsa Mandir was just built. Jogopitsa Jogobit, Jogobit Mandir was discovered by Bhakti Mithakur. I mean, Jogadish, I know, Jogadish Pandit then. When they are coming to Jogopitsa Mandir, they discover, they discover Bhakti Mithakur sitting in the Natta Mandir, they discover Bhakti Vinod Thakur sitting in a Natya Mandir and speaking Harikatha in front of Bimala Prasad and all big, big you know, devotees there. Bhakti Vinod Thakur sitting with closing eyes and speaking Harikatha. That day was, that day was Gaur Purnim day. Because that time there was thousands of devotees at present coming. But that time it was very, just, uh, you know, just, you know, Jogobit Sim Mandir started, you know, discovered. So, after Harikatha is over, that Pandit going to introduce, after Harikatha is over, that Pandit going to introduce Jagadish Prabhu with Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Jagadish Prabhu falling down on the ground and pay, catching the lotus feet of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, putting on head and crying, please bless me, I am going to die. I am a bonded soul, please bless me, please help me. He is crying heavily. Then Bhakti Vinod Thakur speaking, giving some special instruction to him. Then Bhakti Vinod Thakur giving some special instruction to him and, having, and speaking that you are educated. You are educated people, you are very highly educated. And your father, mother all in line of Gaudiya, Gaudiya line. So why not you preach? Bhakti Mata giving blessing to him. You are highly educated. So you can preach the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If you can speak, people can feel attraction. Bhakti Mata is the first man. Bhakti Mata is the first man to bless him. 
this way. You are educated. If you are going to preach the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, common people can feel attraction. Why not you preach? Bhakti Mata bless him. Then Jagadish Prabhu getting blessing and by the instruction of Bhakti Minu Thakur and Bhimalapasha Saraswati, he was bound to go to Kuliya Navadip to meet with Gaur Kishar Bhavaji Maharaj. By the instruction, by the instruction of Bhakti Minu Thakur and by the instruction of Bhakti Minu Thakur and Bhimalapasha Saraswati, he was bound to go to meet with Gaur Kishar Bhavaji Maharaj to take darshan by the blessing. Then when Jagadish Prabhu crossing the river Ganga, going to meet with Gaur Kishar Bhavaji Maharaj and giving one watermelon. Watermelon, you know, watermelon? Watermelon going to give. Usually Paramahansa Gaur Kishar Bhavaji Maharaj, usually Paramahansa Gaur Kishar Bhavaji Maharaj never taking anything from anybody. But miracle, he, ex he accepted that watermelon, give, 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 and putting in a ground, and speaking, where from you are coming? I am coming from Mayapur, I am coming from Mayapur by the instruction of Srila Bhaktivinoda Chakur and Bhimala Prasad Oh, really? <laughs> then after that, you know Kirtan? Yes, by your mercy I can sing some. So you can sing one Kirtan. I like to hear. Gaurango bolite habe pula ko shorira. This kirtan he started doing. After the kirtan is over, Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj was very happy. He was very happy. Very happy. And Babaji Maharaj speaking, you were initiated. Actually, I am not initiated. Actually, Still, still now, I am not initiated. Gaurkishar Bhavaji Maharaj speaking, how you say that you are not initiated? How you say that you are not initiated? You already, already uh, heard Harikata from Bhakti Thakur and Bhimala eh? Yes, na? And they are sending you to me. So how you say you are not initiated? Because you already accepted Bhakti Thakur as Guru. You go back, shave your head and go back, Bhakti Mithagur waiting for you. You shave your head and go back, Bhakti Mithagur waiting for you to give you initiation. Really? Yes. Babaji Maharaj forecast. How you say? Because accepting Guru, if I can accept some Guru, if I can accept some Guru eh, in, inside my heart, that is called actual Adav Guru Padasvayo, like my case. I saw one picture, I accepted him as Guru. Before taking Diksha, even before taking Diksha, I took resolution, this is my Guru. I mean, I, I already accept this Guru. Adav Guru Padasvayo Tasmad Krishna Diksha Adi Shikshanam. At all you will have to accept Guru. So, Jagadish Prabhu already accepted Pakti as Guru. So Babaji Maharaj, is, Babaji Maharaj can speak everything, Babaji Maharaj, Babaji Maharaj can see everything. Babaji Maharaj speaking, how you say? Babaji Maharaj speaking, how you say that you are not initiated? You go, Bhakti Mithagur waiting. Only you need to take Diksha. You already accepted Guru. Bhakti Mithagur waiting for you. Then he crossed the river and coming to Bhakti Mithagur Thakur to meet, shaving head and taking birth in Ganga. And going there, really so, Bhakti Mahat Thakur giving in, giving in Diksha. The, in an actual, that, that Kamgayatri Kambish, very vital mantra, already given. He was initiated that day. That day he was initiated. Bhakti Mahat Thakur used to speak Harikatha in the noon time, 2 o'clock, also in the evening time, 5 o'clock. Follow. Noon time, Bhakti Mantagu started explaining Upadishamrita. Noon time. And after noon time, to, uh, he explained Chaitanya Chaitanya something. That also, 
Bhakti Mahatma was speaking, Krishnadas Babaji Maharaj, he is Sevak, not our Krishnadas Babaji Maharaj. He is the Sevak of Bhakti Mahatma Thakur. His Samadhi is there, you can see, in Sananda Sukhata Kuna. It was the usual rule, Krishnadas Babaji Maharaj can sit and recite Chaitanya Chaitamitra and stop, Bhakti Mahatma Thakur can explain. Follow, what is it? He is reading the original Bhakti Mahatma and Bhakti Mahatma is explaining. Bhakti Mahatma closing eyes and explaining. Shikha stuck. Oh, no. This way, he was initiated by Bhakti Mahatma Thakur, Harinam and Mantra, already initiated. After that, he was Griyastha, I already told. He was the Griyastha. So he was, he was a service holder. I told you, na, as the Griyastha at the same time, service holder, so he is, he is bound to go back. He is bound to go back, na, he is a service holder, he wants to go back. But whenever he used to make up his time, usually he used to come to Godrum to stay with Bhakti Vinod Thakur in Sadhana Sukhita Kunja. Whenever he could make up his time, he used to come and stay with Bhakti Vinod Thakur in Sadhana Sukhita Kunja. I like to cut short because time cannot permit. In the year of 1914, uh, Gadadhar Tirabhaptiti, I mean the previous day of Gundisha Manjan. The previous day of Gundisha Manjan. Gadadhar Pandit live body and Bhakti Thakur also live body. That time Jagadish Pandit, uh, that is that time Jagadish Prabhu, I mean this Sthita Maharaj, was there. Was there. After that, by the desire of Bhakti Mir Thakur, he was feeling inspiration to live a family life, but it was not possible because by that time wife was there anyway. So finally he appeared in the examination. Finally, he appeared in the examination set by Vishwa Vaishnava Sabha. I mean, our Prabhupada used to give degree, na? At the time of Gaur Purnima, the exam, examination. You don't know. There is some examination. Shastri and different kind of Bhakti Ratna, different kind of title Prabhupada used to give. Because there was question paper. If you can appear in exam, if you pass, they can give degree. They can give you degree to you. So, our Jagadish Prabhu was getting a high degree. He was giving a nice, you know, title by Popar. And after Bhakti Vinod Thakur, because Bhakti Vinod Thakur was uh, not there by the time, in the year of 1914, uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur lived body in the month of July, I think, June, July. Before Raj, just two days before Ratha Yatra. That time, but he wanted to get, you know, sannyas because by that time, wife already lived. Wife already going to leave this material world. When wife going to leave this material world in the year, year of 1920, he took, he took Gaur Mantra Brahma Gayatri. Follow. Brahma Gayatri, he, he got from Prabhupada. But Kam Gayatri and you know, ten Dasakshar Mantra, he got from Bhakti Muttak. Mahamantra, he got from Bhakti Muttak. But from Prabhupada, he got Gaur Mantra, Gaur Gayatri. Try to remember. He got specially Gaur Gayatri, Gaur Mantra. Gaur Mantra, Gaur Gayatri. And Brahma Gayatri. So we can say he is a disciple of Prabhupada also. We can say is that he was the disciple of Bhakti Mithak. Because from both of them he took. Both of them he took. So he took in he took sannyas base. He took sannyas because Prabhupada, Bhimalapasa Saraswati, uh, by that time, uh, because in the year of 1918. Because in the year of 1918, Gaur Purnima Tithi, took sannyas. So by that time, he was Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So he gives sannyas to 
to Jagadish Prabhu. His name was Bhakti Pradeep Tirtha Goswami Maharaj. Follow. Bhakti Pradeep, this title already he got in Vishwabhishnam Rasava. Follow. But now, newly he is going to take sannyas. So, Prabhupada wanted to keep this title. Prabhupada wanted to keep this title, Bhakti Pradeep. Okay, no problem. Bhakti Pradeep Tirtha Goswami Maharaj. Okay. After that, Prabhupada sending him, after that, Prabhupada sending him to different places in Bengal. East Bengal, Bangladesh, here, there are so many places. Because he has words in English, Bengali, Sanskrit, oh, so many, so many languages. So, Prabhupada used to send him, present Bangladesh, here, there, so many places. Finally, Prabhupada took decision to send, to send him to foreign country. Bhakti Pradeep Tirtha Maharaj, Banagasi Maharaj, Banagasi Maharaj, and another, uh, another Brahmachari. Three of them. Later on, Sangvidananda. No, Sangvidananda after. He was no Sangvidananda. Sangvidananda after he was sent to England to get, you know, uh, uh, some degree, legal degree. Uh, some legal degree was sent. Anyway, so they were sent to foreign country and uh, European country, different places to preach uh, Gauranga Darshan. And there, Bhakti Badip Tirtha Goswami Maharaj, he wrote a different commentary on Gita, on different, different books he compiled there. <coughs> His preaching was very successful preaching. Actually, he was the first man. He was the first man to get sannyas. He was the first man to get sannyas from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Krishna. First man. So the preaching was very successful here and there, very successful preaching. Finally, he came back and after Prabhupada leading living body, there was some problem. And uh, what to do? Some problem happened. So then he was bound to stay with uh, that party. But he was a nice Vaishnava. He was uh, no party color was there with him. One thing very important, after Prabhupada gone from this material world, all Gauriya devotees, Gaurima devotees, they took decision to make him Acharya. Be careful. All devotees, Gauriya devotees, Gauriyama devotees, they took decision to make him Acharya because his character was so nice, his personality was so heavy, his bhajan power was so heavy, and anyway, he is a disciple of Bhakti Thakur and took Gaur Gayatri and, Mama and Brahma Gayatri from Prabhupada. We can say both he is a disciple of Bhakti Thakur and Prabhupada. Because Guru Tattva, undivided Tattva, na? okay, no problem. Also, he took fast sanjana. Uh, he was the first man to take sannyas from Popa. So, anyway, he was a very important person. Even, even our Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Hayagri Brahmachari, or Kesav Goswami Maharaj, Vinodha, they all took decision. It's the right decision. So, you can make Bhakti Pradeep Tirtha Maharaj as, the, as the Acharya. By this time, there were so many problems happened. By that time, so many problems happened. It was the arrangement of Jogumaya. Finally, devotees all, they took decision to make Ananta Vasudev as the Acharya. Follow. All devotees. I don't know why. I don't know why. All they took decision, all they took decision to make Ananta Vasudev Acharya. What to do? He was made elected Acharya. I don't know why. Finally, he was the Acharya, so many things happened. After that, he was bound to go back to his family life. After that, society broken. After that, uh, two party. So, Bhakti Bhadipti Thamara, though he was the very neutral personality, don't try to misunderstand him. Bhakti Bhadipti Thamara was a neutral personality, he was not in any party. But still, what to do? 
he was to do, he was there. And he was doing bhajan, he was uh, doing bhajan by neutral personality, very nice. And, uh, he had a sufficient kipa of Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, you know, very, very high kipa. But still he was there to protect them. It is one kind of lila of it is one kind of lila of Vaishnav. We cannot find fault with them. Though we know Bhakti Pradip Titha Maharaj enjoying full kipa of Bhakti Thakur, both Bhakti Thakur and Prabhupada. But still they are bound to stay to protect them, because he could realize they are, you know, deviated from the track. Anyway, he started doing there, but very neutral way. He used to give teachings to, Vaishnava is Karuna Mahayana, merciful. He used to give teachings to all new, new boys. He used to, used to give teachings to all new, new boys all the time. He used to do bhajan, hold day and night he is doing to, to do bhajan. He used to recite Chaitanya Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Jaiva Dharma, and he used to arrange Ishta Goshti, you know Ishta Goshti? Ishta Goshti? Morning time, 11 o'clock. He used to make Ishta Goshti all devotees. Hey, you speak, what do you understand about this? This, he used to give training to devotees. He used to give training to devotees so that they can speak Harikatha, they can become fearless. They have sinus, they have sinus to speak Harikatha, na? They can. He used to give, hey, you stand, you speak about Guru Tattva, you stand, you speak about this Guru Tattva, this, that, you can speak. This way he used to. He used to chide, he used to beat somebody. You are taking prasadam, you are not doing seva properly. It was, his, it was his final advice. If you are going to follow pure Guru Vaishnava, under their guidance, if you are going to hear Harikatha from them, if you are going to do Seva perfect, then you can get success. If you are very much interested to do Seva, then and only then you can come out successful in Bhajan. If no Seva mood, even after you know, reading Shastra you cannot do. So, one Seva, he told that uh, continuously for eight hours, eight years, one, one of his Seva speaking, one of his Seva speaking, continuously for eight years, I was there with Tita Maharaj, Tita Goswami Maharaj, to serve him, continuously. In between, I expressed, in between, I expressed my desire to learn Sanskrit from different, you know, told, I mean, school. Tithama told, you are coming here not to learn Sanskrit, you are coming here to do Gauranga Seva. Because life is uncertain. Anytime you and me can go away. So I think it is more practical to do seva. And you can learn all sastra. If you are doing Guru Vaishnava seva and hearing Harikatha from them, you can learn all sastra automatically. Like our Bharti Maharaj, Bhakti Gyan Bharti Maharaj, Tithu Goswami Maharaj. They are all. They are not day and night reading books. They are doing Guru Vaishnava seva. By the help of Guru Vaishnava seva, on, hear, on hearing Harikatha from them, all Shastra Gyan was there with those. So he used to advise them whole day and night this way. And all, you know, Akadoshi, everything, all he used to do, all, you know, special class, Harikatha. And finally, uh, he took shelter in Purushottam Gauriyamat, Shatak Parvat, you know. Finally, Finally, when he was aged, uh, almost 80 over, 80 over, he took shelter in Purushottam Khetra, according to the advice of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, according to the advice of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Nilachal Khetra, Purushottam Khetra, is the topmost Vipralamba, Vipralamba Khetra. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was feeling, a feeling of separation was there. 
So, according to the instruction of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Nilachal Khetra is the topmost vipralamba. A feeling of vipralamba, topmost vipralamba, you can feel there in Purushottam Dham. That's why Bhakti Vinod Thakur told, we must take shelter of that vipralamba Khetra, Purushottam Dham. Because Gautam Gaurang Mahapu was finally doing this kind of Leela there. So, so he, he wanted to take shelter in Chatak Parvat. Finally, he took shelter in Chatak Parvat. Long time is staying. Long time. He's doing not going anywhere. After preaching done, finally he took shelter. He's not going anywhere. Inside temple he is speaking Harikatha. Only inside temple he is speaking Harikatha. Morning, noon time, evening time. Even in old age, it was very strict regarding prasadam, sleeping, rules and regulations, all perfect, very good. You used to remember Prabhupada and Gaur Nityananda. This way, he used to read Chaitanya Bhagavad in the afternoon time, morning time, Jaiva Dharma, this, that, so many, you know, Chaitanya Sikshamrita. And finally, one day, in the morning time, he get, get up early in the morning. Early in the morning, he is going to take darshan after washing hand and leg, going, because old man, na, take a, going to take darshan of Aarati, everything. Finally, coming to room, you know, chanting, earning everything, done. After the reciting Bhagavata, again coming, because old man, na, old man, he, they used to take bath late. So, save up, going to in massage whole body. After that, taking bath, taking bath, after taking bath, you know, he is sitting in a new asana. He asking, I don't know why. Sevak speaking, I don't know. Maharaj asking me to give me, you give me new cloth. It is there in Almira. So new cloth, I take out from Almira. He is taking new cloth, new turban, everything. After the sitting, a, and making 12 tilak, anga, after the chanting, earning everything, everything done, and noontime prasadam was there. He also honored noontime prasadam also. But in the noon, you know, noontime prasadam, after that, he took a little bit rest. After that, he is sitting to recite Chaitanya Bhagavatam in front of devotees. Follow. In front of devotees. His seva. Reciting Chaitanya Bhagavat, Maharaj explaining. Chaitanya Bhagavat, and in between, in between he is shouting, Gaur Nithyanando, Gaur Nithyanando, I am a fallen soul, you save me. Like Siddhar Maharaj, Gaur Nithyan, Gaur Nithyanando, Thai Gaur Haribol, Thai Gaur, speaking. Shiva cannot understand why speaking so heavily today. After some time, Chaitanya Bhagavad reading and Sevak putting some question to Sevak putting some question to Tito Maharaj. He is explaining, but he was silent. So Maharaj asking question, but Maharaj is not giving any answer. He is this folded hand. Maharaj not giving answer for a long time. Maharaj, 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 for a long time. He is asking question. Maharaj, I have one question. Maharaj, I Maharaj not, not, not giving any response. Finally, when the Seva is going to touch the body, he finds Maharaj gone. Maharaj gone from this material body. In course of reciting Chaitanya Bhagavad, Maharaj leaving this material world. Maharaj gone from this material world. How lucky, you see. In course of reading Chaitanya Bhagavad, he leave his body and gone to Nitya Leela, so, though we know he was bound to stay there to guide them, though we know he was bound to stay there with them, to guide them, but still we should not misunderstand him. Still, still we should not misunderstand him. He is a very neutral devotee. He was not invo involved in any particular. He was doing bhajan neutrally. He was always remembering the Exclusive Kipa, Bhakti Vinod Thakur and Prabhupada, he never wanted to involve in in particular. So, you, we should not misunderstand him. 
though he was there in that, that group, but still you should understand. He never wanted to become Acharya. All devotees, they wanted to make him Acharya. He never wanted to. Finally, what to speak? When Ananta Vasudeva, his younger brother, were, were, were made Acharya of newly new of Chaitanya Mahat. That time it was not divided. That time that division was not there. He was the first man. When he was made Acharya, whole, whole Chaitanya Mahat, after Prabhupada was gone, he was made Acharya, that time he was the first man to give congratulation and glorify new Acharya. His God, his God brother and brother also. But we should not speak this way. He was brother, he was brother. By the material relation. He was less interested about material relation. He was the full Kripa Murti. He was the full Kripa Murti of Bhakti Murti Chakur and Prabhupada. We should not in, you know, misunderstand him as a great. Uh, his foreign preaching was very successful. And he wrote one commentary on Gita. Bhagavad Gita, he wrote. On behalf of Gauriyama, he was the first man. Bhakti Tagore was the first man to write commentary in Bengali, not in English. But Jagadish Prabhu, I mean this Bhakti Chitumar, was the first man to write in English, Bolvav, for a total commentary. Under the guidance of Bhakti Tagore, Balade Vidyavasana, Vishwana Chakodiva, very nice devotee, very, very plain hearted devotee, very, very plain hearted. No complication was there. He was so nice figure, so nice figure, so nice figure, so nice soft personality, so attractive personality, very nice personality. We very really feel for him. We are going to we feel that we are going to miss him. We beg Kipa from Sila Bhakti Pradip Titugusi Maharaj, we want to get Kipa from him. His best to keep on us. He was supposed to become the first Acharya after Prabhupada. But anyway, it is the arrangement of Jogmaya. I don't know why. So, we'll have to. What to do? So, the first look I started with, you can remember. Acharya Dharmam Paricharya Vishnu. Bicharya Tirthani Bicharya Vedano. Binana Gaur Priya Padu Sevanam Vedadi Padam Vidanti. Without serving the lotus feet of Vaishnavas, you cannot get success. If you are going to follow Dharma, if you are going to serve Vishnu, I mean Krishna, if you are going to travel different pilgrimage, if you are going to uh, uh, read Veda, very analytically, still you cannot get Kepa. Sufficient Kepa you cannot get. Only and only by the help of Vaishnava Seva, I mean this kind of Vaishnava Seva, you can get Bhakti. One thing very vital. All different kind of, you can go and take bath in river, here, there, follow. Anything you can do in the beginning, before starting Bhakti, you can do anything. But you cannot get bhakti. You can get some bhakti mukhi shukriti. Follow. If you are not serving, until and unless you are serving a Vaishnava, you can do anything. Dham parikram, you can take bath, you can give to all. All can give you bumper success in the way of your shukriti, shukriti. Bhakti mukhi shukriti. But finally, bhakti you can get only by the seva of pure Guru Vaishnava. Be careful. Bhakta Sanyataya Bhaktya. That day, previous day, I was speaking. Tatro Bhagavatana Dharmana Shikshet Gurvatma Daivata. Eh? Tatro Bhagavatana Dharmana Shikshet Gurvatma Daivata. Amayaya Anubritva Joyce Tushet Atma Atma Dohari. Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada. He was so happy. He was so happy with Bhakti Tithu Maharaj. Bhakti Tagur was so happy with Tithu Maharaj. Bhakti Tagur, bless him. You don't know. You don't know. 
So only and only by the help of this sloka, we should remember previous day I explained that. Eh? Tatro Bhagavatana Dharmana Shikshet Gorvatma Devataha Amayaya Anubritva Joyistu Shet Atma Atma Do Hari. You can remember no? this sloka? Eh? Previous day I was explaining. This you can remember. So, to get bhakti, we must follow Guru Vishnu. Without serving Vishnu, Guru Vishnu, without hearing Harikatha from Guru Vishnu. Even after hearing Harikatha, if we are not going to follow what they are speaking, we cannot get bhakti. We cannot miss bhakti. Even after, you know, taking center, everything, if we are going to ignore Guru Vishnu, not hearing Harikatha, not serving Guru Vishnu, you cannot come out successful this way. So I like to stop here. I like to beg Kipa from Sila Maharaj. Bhan Chakalpatru Sikhi Pasindu Bhavachapati Tanang Pavani Bhavishna Vyur Namuna. Now sometime actually this kind of heavy Siddhanta which are everybody cannot digest, you know. Not possible. Everybody cannot digest, not possible. But anyway, I will have to, it is my duty. It is my duty to speak that way. So Prabhupada uh, Tiravapti coming, twelve I know.